Today we're opening a mystery cube versus a mystery cube. But wait, we seem to have an error in the program. It won't be one cube versus the other. They're combining forces to take on six legacy packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we have another epic giveaway. If you guys have not gotten a chance to get your hands on the structure deck, Albaz Strike, there are eight inside of this box and we will be giving away eight of them to eight different winners. This giveaway is sponsored by Sassy Auto. He sent me these to give away to you guys. All you have to do is like this video, turn on the notification bell and make sure you go follow Sassy Auto on Instagram to enter. Let's hop into the epic battle of Double Cube versus Six Legacy Packs. We are going to start off with what I think may be the worst Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery product of all time, the one with the battle packs in it. We're going to start with this one. They're combining it together to face Six Legacy Packs. There's more packs in here, but do you think they can beat just Six Legacy Packs? You would think they could beat it, but you know, it's these mystery cubes and they're really, really bad. Inside, we have the five Battle Pack Monster League that are stuck together. These are some of the worst packs ever printed, but that'll be fun to get into. Then we have what looks like the same keychain as last time, a Yami Yugi, Yami Yugi with his dual disc. Okay, very cool. Then we have all of our cards, which uh, I don't know what they are. Generation 4, so the name of the set, which is funny. Sprite's Blessing, Monster Reborn, Reborn. Called by the Grave, a good card! We can never pull this out of Flood, but we just pulled one out of a Mystery Cube. We actually got a good card. That's a good start for the Mystery Cube team. All right, should all construct. Is there anything else crazy like that? I mean, that's a great card. It's probably worth like three or four bucks. Um, anything else? Waking the Demons. Cool card. Middle check for assist start. Strike Fairy, Swordsman of the Landstock. You'd love to see that one. Watson, Melkid. Okay, so there's some old cards in here. Goblin Attack Force from SD5. All right. The Practical from McDonald's Pack 2. That's funny. Okay, the Cabazals. Strike Slash, right? Geki Break. I mean, there's some decent cards in here if you're like playing and stuff. The value is not crazy on any of these. All right. Stronghold of Moving Fortress, Stargazer. So nothing too crazy besides the call by, but I mean, that's unexpected. I was not expecting that good of a card in there. Let's go into our Battle Pack Monster League. Speaking of Sassy Auto sponsoring the giveaway, he also has an epic price on Ghost from the Past 2. He nearly sold all of them at his $72 price, so they are now at $74. You can still use the uh, code Ruxin GFTP for 5% off. So they're not quite as low as they were, but they are still insanely low. And I don't know if it's still the lowest price or not, but it was. it's going to be very close either way. It was by far the lowest for a long time. Um, go check those out if you guys want to grab some Ghosts from the Past too, because it's going to be an insane set. Hopefully... Wait, this card is in Battle Pack 3? This might actually be money. A Mosaic Rare, I think is what it's called. Leviar the Sea Dragon. This card's like actually really good. In Ultimate Rare, it's over $100. Did I speak too soon about these cubes? Are they insane? Oh my goodness, that is nuts. All right, Reptilian Rage, that's insane. Quacky Mirror Sandman, that's not a bad card either. Fencing Fire Ferret, we got the Jerry Beans Man. Back to it, we got two more packs here. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. The Wonder Wand, very nice. We got the Noble Arms, uh, we're not even gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, I do know it's a Noble Knight card that I've used in Duel Links before. But I'm not going to try and say it because I don't remember anybody ever pronouncing it. So I don't know what it is. Finding Spirit. We got the Quacky Mirror Guardian. Another decent card that's actually used a little bit. Telekinetic Shocker and Stego Cyber. Stego Cyber was in the uh, Duel Links deck as well. But I know the Quacky Mirrors are actually used in some decks. Wow, that was actually some good battle packs. I don't think I've ever said those words. That was actually some good battle packs. So let's get into the Legacy Packs. We're going to open three of these. Then we're going to go back to the other Mystery Cube. That is insane. Like, that was actually good packs. It's so weird. Ele oh, Electric Snake, not Lizard. With the, even though Electric, was it Electric Lizard? No, it was the, uh, it was the Drooling Lizard that said it was a snake. The Recipe, which is weird. Boar Soldier. The Mystic Plasma Zone. The Horn of Light. The Reliable Guardian. Very nice. The Manga ran And... Oh, an Ultra Rare Relinquish! Just as we thought the Battle Pack was actually going to do something, we get the Ultra Rare Relinquish. Sorry, Battle Pack. You had a good run. Mystery Cube. You had a good fighting chance, but Relinquish. It's going to be tough to beat that one. That is insane. Okay. All right. This is a weird opening for sure. Like, the, the pulls are much better than I was expecting. We got the Kumu Toko. We got the Beaver Warrior. Yeah, very nice. The Silver Fang. Sogan. Machine Conversion Factory, the Monster Egg, Lesser Dragon, the Darkfire Dragon, and a Petite Dragon. All right, Petite Dragon. All right, one more pack before we get back to the cube. So far, pretty good pulls. Let's see what we can do here. I'm really good, actually, for what we're actually opening. 
We got an M Warrior number one. So this one is not shifted because it's the reprint. Remove trap. We got the Dissolve Rock. Oh, we've rocked the special, the Dark Energy. King Fog, the Mizurizame, Yant Forest. Okay. Arm Ninja. And. A green phantom king all right green phantom king cool still not bad one out of three with a relinquished we will take that any day of the week next up a slightly better mystery power cube i say that but the last one was actually really good surprisingly the battle packs actually had good cards in them so we can't complain we can't be too upset there inside we have let's grab the random cards first so there is one extra card that i didn't see oh wait an ultra rare rainbow dark dragon whoa they actually didn't put rares okay world legacy heart so this looks like just a pack of relentless revenge Oh, it has the secret rare. Okay, Hibernation Dragon. Imagine if that was actually like, you know, what's in Relentless Revenge? Something actually good. I know it has some good cards. I just don't know what they are. We got an... Oops, we accidentally put foils in these. <laughs> we got the FA Grand Prix. Oh, uh, okay. We're not doing it like that. Dynamis Rush. Let's see if we can find any good commons like last time. Statue of Anguish Pattern. Kind of an annoying card. First Aid Squad. Super Soldier Rebirth. The D-Time. The D-Time. All right. This Nero Dread Servo, the Over Destiny, the, I don't know how to say that, Dogmaticism, we get the Locker Room, Locker Room, <laughs> okay, Magical Roker, Jabbing Panda, Frenity, the His, Hainasumi, Hanabi, I'm running me a Mizurizame, not gonna lie, we get the Heal Eagle, we get the Tri Brigade, Charge into the Dark World, I use this in the Dark World deck in Duel Links, Wildcat, Awakening, and, oh, the Dino Wrestler, too bad it's not Pangratops, but still pretty cool. There is one more card that I didn't want to spoil what that pack was. Oh, Orgoth the Relentless. Pretty cool card. I don't think it's too crazy, though. Then in our packs, oh my goodness, a Legendary Collection Yugi pack. This cube is actually good. Guys, this cube is actually good. It has Dark Crisis, and it has Break as a Shadow. That's insane. Maybe I shouldn't have spoke too soon. Oh, we missed our other foil, too. We have Born from Draconis. Very nice. Not gonna lie, we actually have a chance as the Mystery Cube. Team Mystery Cube has a chance, I should say. What can we pull out of Dark Crisis? Okay, Dark Crisis is not the best one, but if you do pull, like, Skill Drain, then it's totally worth it. Dice Reroll. We got the Twin Swords, a Flashing Light, Spell Reproduction, Guardian Elma, Precious Cards from Beyond, the DD Trainer, the Tower, the Chaos, Dark Scrubbing Combination, Wrong Trap Rare, and token thanksgiving all right it's not thanksgiving it was easter today when i'm recording this different uh different holiday i was about to say sport that is not even close to the same thing okay sports and uh what I, I just lost my train of thought all right magic spectre sonics we're moving on for ben apocrypha i'm literally losing it guys what is this card the bit bite turtle oh i've never actually looked at the artwork i've read the name the destruction sword the Harmaton. The, sometimes when you're reading these long names, you never even look at the card. You're just like busy trying to read like Harmaton the Dust and you just move on. You're like, okay. Twilight Ninja, Nichirin the Chunin. Like you don't even look at this dude. We got the, oh, the Ogma, the Magispector Toad. All right, we got some Naruto stuff going on. And then the Robot Destruction Swordsman and the Dynamis Terran. All right, cool. All right, I said they had a chance, but they didn't really pull anything there. So we're going to need something out of the Legendary Collection through Yugi's World Pack, which I am excited about because this is such an epic set. We could pull like Dark Magician Girl out of here, which would be insane out of a random <laughs> mystery cube. That would just be nuts. Level four. Messenger of Peace is a common in here, which is interesting. Man Eater Bug. The non spell casting area. So many throwbacks. As a trap hole as a regular rare. Okay, so we're coming up. This is either going to be, I think it's going to be an ultra, then a secret. We're going to find out. Okay, Gravekeeper Spear Soldier. This is a pretty nice version of the card. And. Oh! Dark Magicians is a secret in this? I don't think I've ever pulled this and then a secret thing some Nephthys. I don't remember ever pulling this. I thought it was like a regular rare in this set. Dark Magician's a secret? I mean, it makes sense because it's Yugi's World, but I don't think I've ever pulled this out of all the times I've opened Yugi's World. Dark Magician's secret rare out of a random mystery cube with a random legendary collection Yugi's pack has a random secret rare Dark Magician. That's an insane pull. I don't know what the value is, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it looks amazing. Even though it's the artwork a lot of people don't like, I do like this one because I think I had one of these back in the day. It just looks awesome. It's tablet artwork. Dude, that's Secret rare? Oh my goodness, we gotta sleeve this up. That's a great pull. So I said we needed a great pull and we got one. So the other side now only has relinquished versus a lot of good stuff out of those other ones. So let's see if legendary packs can actually be, or the legacy packs, I should say, can beat the legendary collection there. We got the recipe, they got the Ikaboon, the High Tide Gyojin, the Wall Shadow, the Grotto, Snake Fang, Mystic Plasma Zone, the Flying Carpet Carry number one, and the Horn of Light. All right, it seems like Horn of Light likes to chill at the back a lot. But don't worry, we have two more Legend of Blue Eyes packs. I can't believe that's... How have I never pulled that or known that was in the set? I probably knew at some point and forgot, but I don't remember ever pulling that, which is actually pretty cool. 
Dark Energy. There's so many different secret rares in this. I think it's like 300 different cards or something. So, Reflection. Not secret rares, but cards. Violet Crystal. Sandstone. All right. That's a little Spider-Man going on with the medicine. We got the 13th Grave. The Missouri Zame. Yame. Oh, no. Great. Giant Soldier Stone. Not Yame. And the Root Water. We're not looking for Root Water. We are looking for Blue Eyes. But it was blue. So, part of it. Half of it. It has eyes. Blue Eyes. Final pack for the Legacy Packs. The Mystery Cubes are actually ahead right now, I think. The mystery cubes are going to win if we don't pull something right here. The sparks, they're going to flick 200 damage. They're going to need that. The flame manipulator, he's going to need that to manipulate the sparks. All right. Dark world thorns. They're like, wow, we're literally about to lose two <laughs> mystery cubes. Rain temperature. And not only that, one of them had the battle packs in there. So just keep that in mind. Machine conversion. We got the monster egg. Lesser dragoon. Two pronged attack. All right. They're going to have to uh, lose three cards to get rid of the dark magician. And finally, what will be in here? Petit Dragon. Oh my goodness. The cubes, I think just won. This is like the first time ever. I am mind blown. That is insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic stuff like Mystery Cubes actually having good pulls. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter E. Moose, Junior Rodding, Ananda Tai Show, JT Cho, and David F. Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.